welcome Pisces to your January bonus love reading. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. So we are going to be looking at uh, your situation, you and your person, what's coming towards you, what you don't see coming, uh, what's the challenges and the potential future here, okay? We are going to clarify and use the untold messages of the heart uh, to get a better understanding <clears throat> of your person's emotions or what they want you to know. And then we will pick the um, angel advice cards, okay, to get direct advice from your angels. So I'm just going to shuffle this a couple more times for you guys. So your cards have already been shuffled. I'm just going to go ahead and use the A of Tarot deck. So what is coming in for Pisces regarding love? Ooh, ooh, we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. So going cold on someone. Wow. Okay. Yeah, this is not wanting any BS. Okay, you're a water sign. Oh, but there could be some deceit here as to why you turned so cold with that seven of swords or someone not having the best intentions. Yeah, we have the chariot putting a break here. We have the judgment, big major arcanas coming into the reading with the seven of rings in reverse. Wow. He's already like a strong message coming in here. Keep in mind, this reading may not resonate with every single one of you, so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest to behind. We have the Ace of Pentacles coming in your energy. We have Death. The Moon is in the challenge. The Three of Wands, the Two of Wands, the Seven of Swords once again. Okay. Page of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. Wow. Ace of Wands, Queen of of pentacles the hermit the eight of pentacles the king of pentacles the eight of pentacle uh cups sorry about that okay so this is like a soulmate that went down the wrong path pisces okay they went down the wrong path because you're putting a break on something possibly deception or feels like a soulmate connection or a strong emotional bond but somebody could have been hiding something from you here hidden something for you from you that you could be possibly finding out on what you don't see coming with this page of swords we are going to clarify the chariot in reverse is stating that there's a break on this connection okay um and i feel like somebody's wanting to come in for a second chance or there's an awakening here that is bringing a lot of answers to you we do have uh, the temperance card, which is either somebody wanting to restore balance or balance is being restored in your life. Okay. Uh, yeah. The queen of swords is very cold. Um, and I feel you have every right to be because you're protecting your heart here, your emotions, your finances, your family, your future. Everything comes with this queen of swords on what you're protecting. And I feel you're just not wanting any BS. You're not wanting to hear what this person has to say. Um, there is something you know, with this death card in your person's energy. So there could be a feeling of something ending. The mutual energy that shows the three of wands. So it's making a decision, um, but but not yet taking action. Okay, so it's more of looking at the possibilities of the future. We do have the crossroads here with the seven of swords. So there's an indecision here or something. Somebody's at a crossroads that has to do with their intentions. To where I feel like you catch this person being dishonest or something like that or very manipulative and deceptive here with their words the nine of pentacles is showing out in the outcome of some type of independence okay the hermit is stating that you are very wise so you could be withdrawing from the situation and going within here as new opportunities and new abundance comes towards you i feel like you're going to be taking action in some way or form there's a spark i feel within you with the queen of pentacles energy uh, this is more of a nurturing type of energy. Uh, this could be, uh, you could be a parent here with the Queen of Pentacles. But it's unconditional love. It's all about, you know, hard work, um, a provider, nurturing, loving, stable, loyal energy. So I do feel like you uh, are going more towards a new opportunity here that is being handed to you, I feel. Because it's it's like... It's like this person could be feeling this death energy, but I feel like you're more of like doors are opening for you. Okay. 
We do have the Hermit card again, very wise energy with the Eight of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles. There could be a feeling of juggling back and forth with an individual or with emotions here. Um, but the Nine of Pentacles really doesn't need anyone very whole within themselves. So there's a lot of abundance coming your way in the outcome. Wow. I want to go ahead and go straight to this Moon and Death card and the Seven of Swords and the Page of Swords. And then we'll go ahead and get more of the um, what's coming to you. Yeah, everything is being restored for you, I feel. Okay, I feel like you're having abundance all the way around. Um, taking charge of your life. You have that willpower to overcome this. And you're already feels like you're taking action. Let's get this death energy. What is this death energy? All right, let's get this death energy for Pisces. What is this? Is this, this is in the person's feelings. Ooh, you cut them off. Surrendering this person, definitely. Wow, we have the hangman. This is major life change. You are turning cold. Like, this is being clear. Mind is seeing clearly through everything. Like, you're being like not wanting BS. Like that's why I feel like you are more of withdrawing here. You're like a change of a, a it's like a perspective change and it's like something you're releasing and you're looking at this like I don't want to hear what you have to say. Okay, with this queen of swords, like no. Like it and it feels like you're surrendering them here. Wow. What's this moon card? Yeah, standing in that power too. Feeling left out in the cold. Somebody could be um, really stressed out, taking on a lot of responsibility here within the challenge or doing something on their own. Maybe still pushing through the unknown, but still know what's, what to do, okay? Because there could be a, a, a feeling of financial struggling or feeling like a need of security. But I do feel like you are, you know, it feels like you are... Um, figuring out plans or doing something here with this five of pentacles so yeah you're taking charge of your life what's this three of wands energy yeah you're using your intuition here you're on the right path here pisces you're using your intuition you have all the answers on what to do and how to move forward um i feel like they're you're trusting the unknown here. It may feel like a lot. This could be a family dynamic for a lot of you guys. When something happened. Um, it has to do with deceit. Dishonesty. I feel like your angels got you. You're very connected to the spiritual realm. And you're being guided to these new opportunities here. So you could be feeling yourself... Um, planning and figuring out things here okay this is a pisces who definitely went cold on energy yeah i'm very truthful uh two of uh, two of wands this person's feeling at some type of crossroads yeah there is loss of direction loss of will lack of discipline this person is going down the wrong path i feel like the chat the, the the choice they made is going like down literally like they're going down the wrong path like they made a wrong choice or something or made a wrong turn made a mistake did something here and it's like they're going backwards i i can't explain it like i said a soulmate uh, it feels like a soulmate took a wrong turn seven of swords yeah see panic waiting slowing down someone's panicking they're scared what the seven of swords is Oh, player like inconsistent. Hmm. They could be giving um, messaging somebody else. They could have been giving their energy to something else here with the Seven of Swords, traveling back and out of, in and out of your life, not consistent in your life, right? 
and there was sneaky intention, player-like energy. How would be, yeah, wow. What's this page of swords? You're wanting what you deserve. You only want truth and honesty. That's all you're wanting. You're not blinded by the truth here. I feel like you, you, you're you going to see something. You're going to want what you deserve. Again, this could be a marriage or something here with justice and contracts, but it's all about doing the right thing. And I feel like this is all about truth, commu truthful communication too. But I feel like this person uh, could be in and out of their words, maybe not telling you the truth. So I feel like you either caught this person or you start feeling something here because it's literally you're cutting off this person where it's ending. And this person's like panicked because of their player-like ways or something they, they were doing that had bad intentions, sneakiness. Okay, what's this? And you were, it feels like you're doing a lot on your own here with the moon, taking on a lot. What's this Nine of Pentacles? Moving on, leaving behind. Now, look at in the boat, it has two kids, are the mother and the daughter, and they're like turning their back and they're more sailing out to the unknown. Wow, it gave me chills. We have the Ace of Cups. Spirituality, intuition, loving yourself, choosing yourself here with this Ace of Cups. You have the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles. Very wise energy. Let's go ahead and clarify this Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay, so there could be a feeling of um yeah this is all about finances abundance again you got the queen of coins so taking action here turning your back see it's like you're facing this the dust like cutting this off and now focusing on this pentacle here let's get this ace of wands could be a new passionate beginning coming in for you too or somebody maybe helping you here um Maybe you're going to be working in some type of partnership or you have someone here with the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you're standing really strong in your energy, Pisces. Okay. Um, let's see what this person has to say to you. What does this person have to say to Pisces? As more time passes by, I feel a deeper void without you in my life. You are the one and the only first. I know the clock is ticking for us once you wait for me. I want I can't be apart from you much longer. Guilt hurting you was never my intention, but now it's hurting me too. You've been thinking about me because I've been thinking about you. Energy, we, we're connecting. Jealousy, I feel like you've moved on without me and that's difficult for me to see. Yeah, wow. Let's get advice from spirit. What a spirit I want you to know. Big happy changes. Woo, a lot of cards. Remain positive. Recovery. Ask your angels. Okay. Within the next few weeks. All right. Wow. Big messages here. Big happy changes are coming in. Saying remain positive while you re as you're recovering here. I mean, it seems pretty hard. And then ask your angels. So I feel like your angels have your back. The universe has your back here as you have all these new beginnings coming in for you with or without this person. I feel like that something did end though with the death card. Um, but again, what you don't see coming is this page of swords. So there could be something that you find out or found out. All right, now let's grab the lovers of oracles. We have surrender. get one more for Pisces and only time will tell the new beginnings on the bottom of the deck 
So we have, at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. Only time will tell. Only time will tell, time will heal. I mean, I feel like this is really putting your faith here in, uh, uh, in the universe here, okay? New beginnings, a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Yes, new beginnings are here for you. Wow, beautiful. Beautiful messages here. All right, Pisces, I really hoped uh, that you enjoyed this reading or if it helped or resonated in any way, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys very soon. God bless.